What's up guys, just before the video starts, um, I just want to tell you guys that, uh, the seat looks very cool. Yeah. It looks very, very cool. So this, I was just setting up to show you guys the, obviously, oh, you've seen the title, the, uh, Alexis Caves mod, um, Primordial Cave and some new updates, and the new update contents. And I just randomly came across this area and this map. So, uh, the seat is, okay, whoops, I reloaded the shader, that was my bad. Uh, the seat is right here, and the location is there on the map, uh, on the screen, and yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'll just show you guys what we have here. So obviously there's a primordial cave just down there. Um, there's a cool basin area with cherry blossom, a huge cherry blossom area. Um, and then you also, what the hell? you also got this village right here, and this huge valley right here we can build in. And just make sure you install Terrorless and then you put into the seed and it should give you the same area. Yep. But yeah, it looks really cool. But if you guys check it out, feel free. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you the entirety of the Primordial Cave in the Alex's Cave mod. And this will include all the new content that was just released or at the time recording today but if you're watching this video from later on then obviously it'll been released for a while so yeah let's get into it in the primordial cave you'll find two main types of wood there's the pewin wood that's what i call it pewin pewin I, I don't know what you want to call it pewin wood and there's also the ancient wood which is made up of the ancient leaves and the jungle log and the Pewin tree is completely made out of its own wood and have some unique uh, characteristics than the normal trees. So first you'll notice there's branches in all directions. And there's also like random weird looking things on there. It's normal, it's just what the street looks like. So it is quite interesting to see. And, the, and with the pebble wood, you can craft it into all these kinds of blocks, which is pretty much all kinds of wood blocks. And even the hanging signs, since it's 1.20. And this wood is a really good one to use with oak as a texture blocks, because, you know, they look quite similar. And it's just a good block, I guess. Especially the boat, I really like, because it's actually, like, really tall. Well, not really tall, like, it has a depth to it, I guess you can call it. On the cave walls, you can also find limestone. And this is where you can craft with the limestone. So the walls, the blocks, pillars, and some slabs and stairs. In the caves, you can also find all kinds of the structures look like this. They are the remnants of what the people used to live here uh, built, has built. And then, in here, you can find the cave paintings which you can take home and you can make a great collection and these are all of the cave paintings you can get they are in total of 16 and yeah they look like this and in addition to that you can also get this cave painting which is made up of nine different blocks these can also be found in the caves and you have to get all of them in order to get a picture of the new content that we are, i'm about to show you in Alex Cave's Primordial Cave, you can breed most of the dinosaurs. In fact, all of them. So, this is the subterranean egg. This is the Volum Raptor egg. This is the Grotoceratops egg. This is the Trimosaurus egg. This is the Dinochirus egg. I don't know how to pronounce that. And this is the Atlant Titan egg, which is the newly added creatures. The first creature we have is the Trilocarus. These creatures are marine creatures that will spawn in ponds of water in the primordial caves. And once killed, these guys will drop their tail, which can be used as food and can be used to tame the Subterranodon. The Subterranodon is a flying creature that will aimlessly fly around the primordial caves. And sometimes you can see them resting and laying eggs in the side of the cliffs, which you can actually grab with the Silk Touch pickaxe, so you don't have to breed them. And if you want to tame them, they can be done with a Trilocarus tail, and they can be bred with cod in order to get the eggs. This is a Volum Raptor. They will spawn in a pack, and the pack leader will have a crest 
that are bigger than the normal ones. These guys, they are pack hunters and will kill creatures once they become hungry, especially the Grotoceratops, which is their favorite food. And to tame them, all you have to do is put some dino nuggets in the chest and they will actually go into your chest, steal the stuff and eat the food. So be careful because they can steal food. The Grotoceratops is a neutral creature that will roam around the primordial caves and mainly eat the curly ferns. And I have not figured out a way to tame them actually. I have not. So if you guys figured it out, please tell me. Because I don't know and this guy is freaking out because the Tremosaurus is destroyed. Okay. Next up, we have the Dino Chiris like creature. I cannot pronounce their name, so you guys go ahead and do that. This guy, they can they are pretty chill, they just chill around, I guess. And then sometimes you can see them pushing over trees, which is pretty cool I guess and once killed they will drop their bones which is called heavy bones and can be crafted into a special items I'll show you guys in a sec. The Tremosaurus is the apex predator of the primordial caves and what they do is they hunt all of the other creatures. Yeah they fight them, kill them and eat them. They actually can be tamed with a club and a serene salad and they can be bred with dino chops which is dropped from the Tremosaurus himself, the dino Chiris, and the Grotoceratops. They are actually dropped by one more creature which I will tell you about next. The new creature of the primordial cave is the Atlantid Titan. This creature once killed will drop some huge huge amount of meat and although they are really really cool creatures they will not spawn naturally until you kill the next boss which I will tell you just now I guess. Now when you are looking at the roof of the cave you will see these blobs of amber when you break them there's a chance of them giving you a amber curiosity and with amber curiosity mixed with heavy bones you can craft the ominous catalyst which then if you grab the ominous catalyst and find the volcanic structure in the primordial cave and you throw it in it will spawn a luxusaurus this is the new boss of the primordial caves and once they spawn in he will attack all creatures nearby this guy's very loud just give me a second uh, he will attack all creatures nearby and will use random attacks that involves fire for example meteor attacks um, and also jump attacks and he can also make the ground crack and also stomp on on the ground which will um will create lava cracks and you'll fall into it and you'll die yeah so to kill these guys uh i'm using the uh dress steel size which is the dress steel mod just to kill it quicker oh yep and that's crazy holy shit my computer lagged oh my god yep that is the damage it does yep so we just kill this guy real quick this is the final boss of the primordial case it's very very loud my bad and once killed he will drop all these items which is immune to fire so you cannot burn them these are the tectonic shards with these you can make the trimazella egg or the Extinction Spear. With the Extinction Spear, you held three different abilities from the three unique creatures of the Primordial Caves. So first, when you right-click, you will summon the Grotoceratops Horn, uh, I guess Grotoceratops Heads. Once you are using this, the creatures attacking you will not do damage until all the things run out, which then will damage you, I guess. And with the right-click, where you will aim the spear and once you chuck it at them they will actually go giving out a subterranean ability which will lift the attacker off the ground and drop them down and you can spam this until they get they fly up really high and take full damage and the third attack is just a left click melee attack which if you hit the creature, it will summon a Primosaurus Bite that will bite them and do 
extra extra damage and it will also set your enemies on fire and I'm about to die so I don't want to show you that <laughs> with the tectonic shards you can actually use them for another ability you can change the skins of the creatures by right click on them all of the creatures will be changed to the skin this is the extinction skin if you can call it so the t uh the Trimosaurus will have that skin the Dinocarus will have this skin which is actually my favorite the Subterranean will have this skin which looks like the I don't even know what it look, looks like it looks something like something with the volume Rap raptor the alpha will become this which looks like a giant turkey and the um, normal ones if you follow me please th thank you it will look like a normal turkey and you can actually right click them again to re remove the skin the Atlant titan will actually get the luxusaurus skin and to tell the difference they actually have one more big spikes on their back than the luxusaurus so that's how you can tell the difference and also it's there's no boss bar at the top of the screen and finally the Grotoceratops will give in this orange skin which looks also pretty cool by the way now that the boss has been defeated um the atlantosaurus the atlant titan they will start spawning in thanks lightning trying to record a video here Although you might have to kill a few creatures before they start spawning in. As you can see, uh, it's already kind of full, so they might not spawn in until you kill some of the creatures here. Previously, I made a video on the Abyssal Chasm, and they actually added a new drop for the Hole Breaker, which is the uh, Immortal Embryo. And with the Immortal Embryo, you can mix it with the Tectonic Shards and the Tremosaurus Egg to craft the Tremozilla Egg. And I was going to include this in the Toxic Caves tutorial, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna include it here because technically it is part of this, not that one, but I guess you could call it both. So once you put it down, it will look like this, and it will not hatch. It's just there for show sure and you can't do anything with it. No, I'm just kidding. So in order to actually crack it open, you need to use this specific knuck weapon and um i have no idea what it does so let's find out yeah that, that, that was a lie and once the nuke has went off you can see a baby has been born and to keep in mind oh i'm green now Keep in mind, you can do this with the new clipper as well, so just keep that in mind. And now, you have the baby Trimazella, there he is. You can actually tame them with the waste drum, which I'm not going to get into too much in this video, but uh, you can feed them this. And eventually they will tame. There we go. And you can grow them up by feeding them nukes. And yeah, nukes. It's pretty expensive, but it is what it is. You can feed them nukes to make them grow up faster. And once they are fully grown, you can ride them on their head. And you can also use its special ability, which is G. You can see his spikes is going in and you can use this to dig a giant tunnel do the uh <laughs> the thing and they can also break blocks by the way so they're really cool after you kill the grotoceratops they will drop the tough hide which you can use to craft the primordial armor set which is a pants a tunic and a helmet they look like this and you can also find the decorative pots with the footprint and well i forgot what this one's called hold on give me a second give me a second and dinosaur pottery shot which you can put on your pots and the dinosaur chops they can be cooked into cooked dinosaur chops and both of them can be eaten 
like a cake. Which is actually pretty cool. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, definitely give this video a like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.